About a week and a half ago, I was doing a very, very similar video making Cody's brick heads much more accurate. But we all know by now, he's not my favorite of the clone troopers. So today we're gonna to be building Rex to go alongside Cody. Initially, I was just gonna switch some colors around, but I've decided to build Rex from scratch. And I have taken a few different techniques across but for the most part, Rex is his own brick head. And there was also a comment that was left on my last video. It's quite funny, actually. I've just looked at my last video to see how long ago that was. And I'm wearing the exact same top. It is a great top. But there was a comment on that video that said I should have made a small Cody head to go inside the helmet. And that got me thinking about why don't they make a bigger helmet that goes over the brick head's head now? The helmet would be quite chunky, so when it comes to brick heads, they're not exactly a toy, there's no play feature. It makes sense to just have the helmet on top and leave it at that. For Cody, we built a phase one, phase two, and regular clone face head for the brick heads. For Rex, I want to build Rex with his phase two helmet that can actually be removed. This was a task. It took me a few days to try and plan out how this was possible and then another few days to try and actually construct the thing. And it's for that reason, actually, I decided not to do a phase one helmet. Personally, I didn't think the phase one looked too good on Cody to justify doing another phase one clone. It's a very, very tricky helmet to get alone, let alone to try and add that onto a clone's head. But I really like how I've managed to make the removable helmet for Rex and I think we should just get straight into looking at the build. So if you want to see Cody's phase one and phase two helmets, you will have to click on the video, probably on the end screen or in the description. But Captain Rex's helmet is looking very different to Cody's because we have placed it over Rex's brick head's head and I will be taking it off in a minute but I would also like to point out someone mentioned about using the black hot dog element for the mouth. I think that's a great choice for the mouth and there's so many elements you could use to get it looking a little like how the clones do in Clone Wars or in Attack of the Clones or in Revenge of Sith, really whatever material you take. I'm afraid I don't have any of the black hot dogs because I was going to use them for Rex but I just don't have any to hand. So I have used once again the black one by one frying pan studs. And I think I've also switched up the exact dimensions of the helmet because I think Cody's eyes were actually a bit lower down, which come to think of it would match up to the Brickhead's head underneath. So there is that inconsistency, but we all know that clone and stormtrooper helmets don't exactly line up to the person underneath's eyes in the universe anyway. But as for how Rex compares to Cody, there is an added function in the arms here. The arms are actually studded down with four studs, so they are able to be turned. I'll show that off in just a second. And I think from the back, it's more or less the same as Cody. There isn't any bricks or any sort of design on the back, and perhaps that's a missed opportunity. I could have at least included the ingot that Cody had, but my main focus was on getting this helmet to how I wanted it to be. So some details have been switched up and you can see on Cody's arm, it's got the orange from the shoulder to elbow that Cody does have. Rex only has a little bit on his elbow. So I have switched out the one by two slope with a one by two jumper plate and then just put a one by one tile on top of that. But something like the arms are the exact same on both the characters. So it makes sense to copy it over in Lego. Instead of having Cody's blaster and Kenobi's lightsaber, Rex does have his dual DL44s, which thankfully do have their own Lego piece. It's a bit smaller than the Brickheads one might be, but it was the closest you can get to the guns without using some custom mold from another company. So now you probably want to see Rex without his helmet and it is fairly easy to remove it. I just have to lift it up and make sure I don't pull Rex's head completely off because there are a few secrets hidden inside the Rex himself. So the helmet comes off and it does look really, really cool, especially from this angle. You can see Rex next to Cody. The head looks a little smaller because we don't have a plate round every single side. And that's just so we can get the helmet on. The helmet does have more or less a four by four space underneath. And it means 
that we couldn't fit it on a character like Cody because the head's just a little bit too big, just that plate or even on the front and back, just half a plate too thick. The helmet does look really, really cool by itself. I suppose I can take a look at that in a second because I did miss showing you the rangefinder on the side, which does move up and down and actually lines up with the eye holes in the helmet. But as I said, Cody's head was fairly easy to pop off and inside we hid Cody's brain. Well, for Rex, there's a similar thing done. If we pop off the head, you can see that there is a brain in the middle and they're actually two pink snot bricks that are keeping the rest of the head together. So I still included the brain. You can't remove it and whack it elsewhere, but you wouldn't really want to remove Rex's brain. But on the inside of the torso, we have two Lego books because of course to Rex, experience outranks everything. So it only made sense to include a little Easter egg like these two books in the middle Cody's torso was filled up. I think there were only some round plates and bricks. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to get in there, but as you can see, there is only some round plates and bricks filling up the interior. So it made sense to make use of this 4X. I'm not quite sure what Cody would have inside his torso. Let me know in the comments what you think I should include as an Easter egg in Cody's torso, but Rex had to be books, specifically, some sort of diaries that has everything he's been through since the attack on Geonosis because if you didn't know Rex was a first gen clone which is another fun fact if you hadn't watched Clone Wars because I know Rex is popping up in a few more materials recently but these two panels on either side you can see one black one blue to match his pauldron do hold Rex's head on there and that's actually quite similar to how the helmet's clipped on you can see there's some two by twos at the bottom, which just slide over that portion of the head. And then right at the top where that two by two tile is, there's actually a two by two hole, which should allow the head to sit in the helmet perfectly. And then Rex is wearing his helmet. As I said, you do have the viewfinder, the rangefinder, which does rotate down to the eye level of Rex and is Quite a fun little accessory. There were loads included on the Cody brick head, so I couldn't miss out a feature such as this. And the big difference in the arms, if I can remove the helmet and the head, is that the arms have full rotation. I guess the helmet stops it at some point, but they can rotate a full 360 degrees because I've positioned them on a Technic pin. Now I used a gray one. You can use a red one just because they are the pins with friction ridges. So you can angle them any way you want and it doesn't matter how much weight you put on it, it's not gonna turn it unless you forcefully turn it yourself. Whereas the blue, I think we've got tan, we might even have white ones. The ones without the friction ridges are just loose so Rex would have his blasters down at his side, which you can do with both of them. Again, this side, we do have a pauldron which is keeping the arm from going the full way round, which I've just created using a blue one by one cheese slope and then added the blue bracket on the side so the pauldron somewhat continues. I was at some point gonna have just a blue slope covering the whole arm because the Lego material pauldron does cover Rex's whole arm and I'll probably be replacing it with a 3D printed one when I pick up the minifigure but I felt like this got the point across and didn't limit the movement of Rex's arm so I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Now we have Rex we have Cody and I'm probably going to display Rex without his helmet, but you could definitely have the helmet to the side. There are a few gaps with the helmet. You can see just next to the eyes, there's a few gaps and there's not enough space to get even a underside two by two tile. But as you can see, the inside is pretty much just made of brackets and then I've built the side off each other. There are these loose parts at the front, which actually remind me of the Stormtrooper helmet right here because underneath this helmet there are the exact same pieces. I'm not quite sure what color. Oh, they are also in white. These pieces here held on by one stud. So 100% Lego would do the same for a brick heads as these are all display models. But the problem with these ones isn't actually the clutch power here. It's the fact that if any of these get knocked, it's going straight into that piece and slowly will just wear away. It will ping off one day. You won't notice it's missing. I'm sure if you go to your helmets now and this has been on somewhere like a desk or a table, 
Yours is probably also missing these pieces because it's the most fragile piece of, well, it's probably the most fragile Lego connection I've seen in a set for quite some time now. Now I have modified the stand of my trooper, so I have to put that on a bit later. But I thought it was quite funny that I've included that in the Rex helmet just to make space for the head. I definitely could have whacked a two by three and modified the head, but I think the head is already looking weird enough. Let me give you a 360 of the head because we've got Rex's very light blonde and very short hair, which is why these are all tiles rather than the studded plates. But the head does look a bit weird where it comes in on here. It's for the tiles at the bottom and we've got to have them spots to keep the helmet on, but it's definitely more of a reference and I think including a two by two brick with perhaps some two round studs and a black tile on top for Cody's head. Something a bit like this was probably more what the comment meant and then this would replace the brain inside of Cody's helmet as they're both roughly the same height and then we'd have the brain in Cody's head, the head in the helmet and if we wanted to get even bigger we could probably have an exosuit with another smaller helmet piece inside. Definitely let me know what you think about the both of these in the comments, of course, don't forget to check out Cody. He does have his own video with the modifications I've made, including getting rid of the printed torso and the printed slope on the helmet. The torso didn't come out as well, but I think the helmet definitely looked a bit better. And let me know what you think of Rex and if I should do this for any other clone troopers. Or perhaps you'd prefer some commanders because I think now that we've got Cody and Rex, I might have to switch up the Rex head so it's a bit more like Cody here, but I think we are needing a Clone Wars, Anakin and Kenobi, which would look really cool with the Ahsoka in the middle. Once again, I'm still amazed that the helmet does fit on Rex pretty well and all the other little bits we've been able to include in it. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like on your way out and subscribe for more awesome Star Wars mocks just like this one here. And as always, May the bricks be with you.